So we previously just looked at random error. So if you don't know what random error means, make sure to click the link above. Now we're going to take a look at systematic error. Systematic error uh, usually occurs due to poor design of experiment and, or dis and your procedure. So this means, first, you could be measuring a volume of water from the top of the meniscus. So not measuring it the correct way, but you're measuring it that way every single trial. If that's the case, then that would be a systematic error. If you only measured it that way, you feel one trial out of the 10 trials, then that might be more of a random error than it would be a systematic. If you're using the same and accurate equipment for every trial. So again, when we were looking at different uncertainties, you could say that the most inaccurate one to measure the volume of liquid of 25 milliliters of distilled water would be um, a beaker compared to a volumetric uh, pipette. So in this case, if you use the same inaccurate equipment like the beaker, more inaccurate than, than the volumetric pipette, every trial, then that creates a error that is systematic. Systematic means it happens every single time. An exothermic reaction. Um, exothermic means releasing heat. So if a chemical reaction that you're conducting is releasing heat, it's an exothermic, um, then it's really hard for you to be able to control that release of heat. Um, and that would be a systematic error as well because heat is constantly being released throughout the chemical reaction when you are conducting it. And every trial, there's going to be heat that is lost. So you could say that because it happens in every trial, it is considered a systematic error. Systematic errors can be reduced in this case then by designing experiments more carefully. This means really looking at the selection of different types of equipments that you could use and the different uncertainties associated for each one of these different equipments. So different equipments have different uncertainties, once again, um, and by designing experiments more carefully, you could really reduce that systematic error and increase your accuracy.